الاكل اللي اللي يطبخ اللي ينطبخ احنا احنا اول يوم بالعاشر مشتاقين الشغله يعني تمن والقيمه هاي طبع طبعنا تمن وقيمه اول يوم بس لا الايام العشر القديمه اللي وراها يعني برياني دجاج اشكال الاكل I asked our brother here about the uh, the types and sorts of food they cook around here. They said they, they've got a traditional traditional meal, which is uh, rice and uh, a sort of uh, sort of stew called ima. Uh, he says that on the very beginning of Muharram, the they miss to cook that traditional food, you know, and to distribute it among the the pilgrims, and also they the uh, might have cook other sorts of meals such as chicken and lamb meat etc. I'm going to ask our brother here about uh, these lambs do you, as you see them now. Uh, what, what is the story behind them and uh, what does it mean? Uh, so Aziz, just tell us the story of the lambs. No, no. قصة اللالات. هاي زمن قبل كان الملوك والرؤساء من يتجهون إلى بلد يضووا لهم اللالات. يعني بالطريق لان ظلمت بالطريق عرفت شلون فيضووا لهم اللالات والفوانيس على طريقهم كله فاهالي كربلاء خصوصا يعني ما حد يعرفها بالمحافظات كل كلها الكاظميه تعرفها واهل كربلاء هاي اللالات نستقبل بها الحسين نعلقها اول عشرة ايام بالتاسع نوخرها فاستقبالا للحسين نعلق هاي اللالات من زمن الحسين لحد الان من زمن الحسين لحد الان هاي قصه اللالات uh, the story behind these uh, lumps here is that there is an ancient tradition that when uh, when kings and ministers come all along to the cities, people start to to uh, light their own way. You know, uh, when the king is coming on the way and there was darkness on his way and during the night, people go out of their houses and they start to to provide the light on uh, on the on the road that the king may king or, or minister or an important person comes through so as a tradition for for the people of the holy city of karbala they they start to light their own lumps you know uh, receiving imam hussein on the on the road to the holy city of karbala alwan al lalat alwan ma alwan ma ila ma'na ma ila ma'na yani bas huwa shinu ahna kazina I'm going to ask our brother here about the way they preserve these lumps. سيدنا عزيز بس اشرح لنا طريقة حفظكم لللالات شلون تحفظون؟ حفظنا ذن هاي اللالة تقسم إلى ثلاث أقسام عرفت شلون؟ فنجيب كراتين جرايد نلفها بجرايد بحيث ما يصير فرفورة على فرفورين كسر نلفها بالجرايد وكارتونات ونخفينهم بالكارتونات وأكو حسينيات يعني أكو مواكب عدها حسينية ومسوي لها رفوف فتتخلى بالرفوف عرفت شلون وتتغطى بس هي حفظها أحسن يعني هاي بالجريدة تنلف بالجريدة وتصفط هنا ثلاث قطع دني يصيرين لا لا يصير ثلاث قطع كل قطعة تنلف بجريدة ونضم نضم نسنت الله وجيل الجيل uh, our brother here spoke about the way they preserve these lumps. He said that this each lump is divided into three into three parts, and each part is being preserved on, by itself. You know, by wrapping it in some sort of uh, paper, and they keep it in, into boxes. But as for some Hosseiniyas, you know, they have a uh, big places, so they make shelves to to preserve these lights. You know, these lumps. They divide it and they preserve it on the shelves. <laughs>